Ladies and gentlemen, we're here at Nexus 2012 live with Michael Dodora, the director for the Center for Inquiry's Office of Public Policy. Did I say that correctly? Yes, you did. Very good. Now, Michael, you were formerly from New York, but now you're now down in D.C. How has the transition been for you? Transition has been great. In New York City, I was doing outreach work, so I was uh, putting on events, not quite like Nexus, but uh, big public outreach events, panel discussions and such. And now in D.C., my entire focus is on public policy works, uh, and that's kind of what I've been wanting to do. That's what I have a background in uh, educationally. So it's been a great transition for me, and it's been great for the organization as well uh, to get its voice out uh, on Capitol Hill. And now, do you miss New York at all? Or you, do you feel Does uh, an event like this make you feel homesick? It does. Fortunately, I know enough people in New York, uh, and especially in the skeptic communities, that I can come back to New York and come to events like this and, and enjoy a nice weekend in New York, while at the same time you know, being able to go down to my new home in D.C. and get back to, to work on political issues. Now, speaking of the political issues, if somebody watching this right now wants to help get involved in assisting what you do, can they do that? How can they help out? Well, one of the easiest things for them to do, knowing that people, you know, especially right now with the economy being bad, are, are busy, maybe working multiple jobs, uh, is to go on the Center for uh, Inquiries website or even to go on the National Center for Science Education website uh, and sign up to get action alerts. Sign up to get uh, you know, emails when there's specific pieces of legislation coming up for a vote, either in their neck of the woods or, or in Congress. Uh, and to use those as a kind of platform to get get their message across to, to lawmakers and legislators and other people who are running running uh, the government uh, that they they think a certain way and that they think that a certain piece of legislation is good or, or not good. Uh, you know, people feel as if often their voice is not important or not being heard, uh, but it's, it, it is actually really important that politicians hear your views on certain pieces of legislation and other things being proposed because they, those voices actually do sway them to perhaps change their mind about uh, whether they should vote or not vote for a certain law. Now with the CFI website, just so I don't get it wrong, what's the actual web URL? Uh, the web URL for Center for Inquiry is www.centerforinquiry.net. Uh, if you wanted to go straight to the Office of Public Policy page, you could go to www.centerforinquiry.net forward slash OPP. And uh, just on the right side of the page, there's a, a field. You can just type in your email address and sign up for action alerts and other things that we send out. I mean, we're sending a lot more than just action alerts. We're sending out uh, statements about our, our positions on certain policies uh, and other updates about what's going on on Capitol Hill and, and state houses across the United States. All right, great. So everybody go check out the Center for Inquiries website. Sign up for the action alerts. And Michael, thank you very much for joining us today. Thank you for having me. Enjoy the rest.